Hi, it's me, the Novel Queen. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the last video that I posted entitled Black History, Why It Must Be Taught and Tips for Improving How It Is Taught. Today, I have four mini novels to share with you by Mildred D. Taylor. These books are classics that I believe all children should read at some point. In case you've been wondering how you'll have time to get to Black History this month while under pressure to raise your students' reading levels, these units offered the perfect solution. They're literally ready to go and can be used for book groups, homework, centers, you name it. And of course, you can find these units on my Teachers Pay Teachers store entitled Novel Queen. What's better than teaching your students reading while taking them back to a significant period in history? Mildred D. Taylor is actually one of my all-time favorite authors. You may know her for her book entitled Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry, which earned the Newbery Medal in 1977. She went on to write several novels of historical fiction that were based on her own family's experiences. These novels are unique because many of them take students back to the 1930s, which was a rough period where the realities of the Jim Crow laws were uh, blatantly evident and served to show the harsh realities of blatant racism. I've taught from Mildred D. Taylor's novels as soon as I started teaching uh, fourth grade, about two decades ago. They're great reads for upper elementary, middle school, as well as struggling high school readers. I particularly love her books to engage stories and to engage readers in deep stories that they can complete in one sitting. They're great bridge books also that help to engage students in reading novels as they cross the bridge to becoming more mature readers. Her highly engaging books are also outstanding examples of historical fiction, which means that you can be teaching about a crucial period in Black history with intimate stories that help students to develop empathy and awareness of racism while still developing their reading skills with complex text. The first of the four books that uh, I'm going to introduce you to today briefly is a uh, Mississippi Bridge, which set, is set in Mississippi in the 1930s. It tells a story that exposes many of the complications that occurred from the consequences associated with segregated busing in the rural South. This story is action-packed, and often once students start reading it, they'll have a hard time putting it down until they finish it. The surprise ending adds a dimension to the characters that your students will never forget. The Gold Cadillac takes place in 1950. The setting of this story is uh, up north in Toledo and then follows the family on their road trip down through rural Mississippi. This story exposes another old rule of the South that African Americans could not be prideful in showing off material possessions, such as the gold Cadillac. Prideful actions had dangerous consequences back then. The sisters in the stories grew up in the story grew up in a happy, tight knit, extended family in Mrs. Uh, extended family and should have enjoyed a happy trip to visit their extended family in Mississippi but instead felt terrified for the first time because of the color of their skin. Song of the Trees is another outstanding example of historical fiction and complex text, and it's a true classic in children's literature. It tells a story that evokes emotions from readers as they develop empathy for the Logan children and their family's beloved forest. It's a true classic story with many captivating themes, including deception, greed, loyalty, integrity, bravery, and racism. It has been a longtime favorite novel for, of many teachers to share with their students for the past 40 years. Once students start reading it, they will have a hard time putting it down. It's suspenseful, thoughtful, and it grabs at the heartstrings. 
Last is the friendship, which was the winner of the Coretta Scott King Award. It takes place in rural Mississippi in the summer of 1933. This book also has some strong themes, including deep, blatant racism, rules of behavior, loyalty and disloyalty, and defiance as a means of protest. The ending will leave an impression for sure, and it's an example of complex text that can be deeply examined. At this point, the friendship is the strongest unit out of the four, if you had to choose just one. Learning exercises in this unit include scrutinizing differing racial perspectives, comprehensive examinations of each characters' thoughts, dialogue, and actions, and investigations on how foreshadowing and the sequence of events can affect outcomes. Students also have the opportunity to reflect on similar experiences in their own lives that relate to this story while considering differing perspectives. All four of these novel units offer great ways to def differentiate reading instruction with either interventional or extension opportunities. They're designed to increase student accountability and engagement in either a guided reading or independent reading setting. Key features of these units include character trait analyses, which focus on character traits and motivations that require students to provide rationale and evidence comprehension support that holds students accountable for engaged reading organized in parts one, two, and three, vocabulary support, writing examples on students' chosen themes of each novel with scaffolded support, and investigations on how an author's background and experience affects the perspective from which the story is told. To access these units for high quality reading instruction, Click on the link in the description of this video or go to teacherspayteachers.com forward slash store forward slash novel dash queen. These four books and units will deeply engage your students as they develop their reading skills while leaving a strong impression for many years to come. Happy reading from the Novel Queen.